Hello everyone, Russ of AquariumX here. Today I'm going to talk to you about why and how to culture Daphnia in a small jar. Though larger cultures are typically more stable than small jar cultures, I have had jar cultures of Daphnia go for years at a time. They don't produce nearly as well as large cultures, but there are a couple of reasons why you might want to culture Daphnia in a small jar. The first one, if you have a larger Daphnia culture already, it's a really good idea to have a small jar culture going in case of a crash. Daphnia cultures can be prone to crashing, and if your main culture crashes, you'll have a backup. Another reason to keep Daphnia in a small jar is if you just want to raise a little bit of live food for, say, two or three bettas, or a small community tank, you, you want to try live foods out, but you don't want to go large scale, a small jar Daphnia culture is a great place to start because it's really easy, doesn't take a long time, and you'll be able to offer your fish live food on a very regular basis. So now let's talk about how to do it. First of all, let's talk about the container. As you can see, you can start out with something very small. You can start out with a quart jar. You can go up a little bit bigger. You can use a half gallon or a gallon jar like this. You could even try something bigger, like this two gallon uh, jar. They all work. The smaller jars are a little easier to handle like when they're full of water, but at the same time, the larger cultures are more stable. So figure out what works for you. In terms of placement, try to find a place with bright indirect light. I keep my cultures in a north window so they don't really get any direct sunlight, but they are uh, receiving bright light most of the day. You can also find a place just somewhere in a room where it gets the ambient light in the room and that's fine too. You really don't want it to get a lot of direct sunlight as that can heat up a small culture very quickly, killing your Daphnia. You'll need a source of water suitable for the Daphnia. One good source is water changes from your aquarium as long as you are sure that there are no hydra in the water or any chemicals that could hurt the Daphnia. In my case, my Daphnia are hardy enough that I can use dechlorinated tap water and that's what I use for water changes but uh, you may not be able to do that, so a good bet is water from a healthy aquarium that does not contain hydra. You'll want to seed the culture with a relatively small amount of Daphnia, and that way the um, ecosystem in the jar can build up slowly. I actually started this culture with just one Daphnia, and as you can see, there are probably about 50 or so Daphnia in here at the moment. Uh, so start out small. I wouldn't necessarily start out with one, but probably no more than a dozen Daphnia, just so that ecosystem has time to build up, bacterial colonies, infusoria, and so on. Feeding the Daphnia is relatively easy, but you do want to make sure in such a small container that you don't overfeed. And for anything from a quart to a gallon container, I recommend one drop of food three to five days per week. Now the food I use is a recipe consisting of one part pure spirulina powder, one part brown rice flour, and one part either pea or garbanzo bean flour. And then I mix that with purified water to a very thin soupy consistency, and I keep that in the refrigerator. I just offer one drop of that, as I said, three to five times per week. Once you add the food, it's important to stir it with a straw, a pipette, a bamboo skewer, something like that, to help keep it suspended in the water long enough for the Daphnia to be able to eat the particles that they can eat. Some of the particles, especially the rice flour particles, the heavier ones, will fall to the bottom, and that's fine because they will serve as food for infusoria, which in turn will serve as food for the Daphnia. Water changes are pretty easy in the smaller jars at least. You just swirl it a little bit to kind of get some suspended particles off of the bottom, Pour out about 50% of the water. When you pour that water out, you can pour it into another container to start another culture. Um, you can also use it to feed your fish. If you're pouring it into a, you know, a community tank, you can just pour the water straight in most of the time because such a small amount of water won't really affect the water quality in your tank. And then the fish can hunt down those Daphnia. Or if you have some fish that you want to feed more precisely, you can pour the Daphnia off through a brine shrimp net and then put them into a smaller container of water and use that to feed to your fish. And then just replace the water that you poured out with Daphnia suitable water. Once again, for me, that's just freshly dechlorinated tap water. For you, that may be water that you save from a water change from one of your hydro-free aquariums. So, whether you just want to get into culturing live food for your fish, or you want a backup culture for your larger Daphnia culture, give culturing Daphnia in a small jar a try. Thanks for watching today. I release videos every Friday, all on aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to share, rate, 
comment, subscribe, and click the bell icon so you don't miss my next video. Thanks for watching today. I release videos every Friday, all on aquarium and vivarium pets. Hmm. I'm going to wait for this plane to go by. <laughs>